Yeah, in balanced view, we are introduced to, to the reality of what we are as a human being in a very simple and natural way. And that's really great. It's simple. And that's what I loved when I came to this training, the simplicity of, of it all, that I could apply this training very practically in my everyday life. In every moment of my life, I can apply this simple instruction that we give here in the Balanced View training. And this simple instruction is to take short moment of open intelligence whenever we remember to do so. And recognize that open intelligence, which is the ground of everything, is inseparable from all our thoughts, emotions, sensations and experience. So everything that we can feel, sense and think, that we can just simply call data, <coughs> to keep it very simple. And data are inseparable from open intelligence. Open intelligence, the ground of being, that that knows everything, that that perceives everything, is inseparable, like the color blue is inseparable from the sky. Open intelligence is inseparable from all our data streams, so everything that we can perceive. And that makes it really simple. And through a short moment of recognizing that, by allowing everything to be as it is for a short moment, without needing to go um, into our train of thoughts, by just stopping thinking for a moment, we're introduced to that ground of being, <laughs> open intelligence, that is always present, always shining forth in every moment of our life, that we can completely rely on and trust in every single moment. And that's incredible, because there we can see that we can apply this really every moment of our life, making that choice to recognize open intelligence, allowing all our data to be as they are, without needing to change them in any way. So when a thought of anger or an emotion of anger comes up, allowing it to be as it is, without needing to try to get rid of the anger, trying to avoid it, trying to change it in any way. We allow it to be as it is and then we recognize that there's something about the anger that we maybe thought we need to get rid of or change, that we actually can use this anger in a most beneficial way. By allowing it to be as it is, we open it, it, we open it up and expand it into its beneficial potency seeing that we can use everything, all our data stream, to be completely skillful in every moment, to inform us what will be of most benefit. And that's the, that's the case for all, for all data. If it is lust or anger, desire, hatred, whatever it is, nothing is wrong ultimately with all these, these feelings and thoughts. They are the dynamic energy of open intelligence and nothing else. So that's what we recognize in a short moment, that we can allow the natural flow of all our data streams to be as it is. Now I thought always, when I allow it to be as it is, I thought initially, oh my God, maybe it can take over and I will, for example, anger. Anger was frightening to me because I thought I will, might use it in a way that will harm someone if I allow it to be as it is, when I first time heard that. But what I found in my own direct experience was that exactly the opposite was the case. I could feel it intensely and feel everything completely, but something opened up to see how I can serve that, that situation that will be of most benefit for myself and everyone involved. That's the capacity that we all have as a human being, to really know in every moment what will be best, what will, be, what will serve the circumstance for the benefit of all. And there we see the power and the importance see, of allowing all our data streams to be as they are, without needing to change them in any way. That's a big relief, even if it might feel scary at some point. But we need to test it out, and we can test it out in every moment, allowing all data to be as they are. It's this simple instruction, it always comes back to this simple in instruction that we can always apply. And if there are sometimes challenging data streams where we feel we cannot apply it, we have a whole support network of the four mainstays 
which is always there to support us and to direct us back to open intelligence. The four mainstays, the simple instruction as I was speaking of, of taking short moments whenever re I remember to do so. Then we have all these trainings and meetings that we are offering that always direct us back to open intelligence. Being together with a community that also practices that as another mainstay just allows us to do us the same, having examples of, of how it can work in everyday life very practically. And then having a trainer that we can always rely on as another mainstay. That's the support network that we are offering here just for everyone to really bring that about in our da daily life. It's just that, that simple. These instructions of the Four Mainstays will guarantee us a life of complete benefit if we want so. A complete life of benefit, complete comfortability in all circumstances and the ability to be completely stable no matter what comes up in our life. And many things will come up in our life. It's, it's guaranteed for everyone. I mean, we, at the end we will all die. <laughs> so to be prepared for that is, is the best preparation that we can do, is to really get familiar with our true nature and really see the pot potency that we all have. Not only to, to have an easeful and beneficial death, but also to be completely beneficial while we are alive using all our power and potency to be the best human beings that we can be and really being, being open to see how we can contribute all our strengths, gifts and talents. We all have amazing strengths, gifts and talents and be more and more empower ourselves to see them and to utilize them in the most beneficial way. It's, it's just that simple and, and it's just that opening up more and more to that reality of who we are actually as human beings, what capacity we have and what potency. It's, it's really that opening that we can trust and see within ourselves immediately in every short moment we take and we can test it out. We can test it out in our direct experience. That's why I, I was so amazed when I came to this training because I could feel immediate benefit right there just coming to an open meeting like that, I could sense that there's something, something going on. Something about me was allowed to relax deeply and I could s sense that something is really ringing truth in my own direct experience. So I allowed myself to test it out completely. Giving myself that time to really empower myself. And this is an ongoing empowerment for everyone. It doesn't stop, there's no end to it, which is great. It's really just an opening up more and more. And that's why it's, it's this importance that we allow ourselves that time to train up and really testing that out for some time. And making it into a priority in our life. Because what I could see that when I prioritize open intelligence, all other areas of my life are just taken care of in a very natural and easeful way. Every area of my life. Nothing left out. Nothing to be excluded from my life. I could see such an improvement in every area. Ongoingly so. If it's just relating with each other, is it how I want to spend my life, how I want to contribute to the world, everything is just taken care of in the most potent and beneficial way very natural and just by always coming back to that simple simple choice that we all have in every moment in how do I want to use my mind how do I want to view the world how do I want to use my my strengths, gift and talent it comes always back to that simple choice in this, each moment do I want to rely on open intelligence or not do I want to go through with all my data stream, give them importance or independent nature, seemingly so, that really have power over us, or I rely on open intelligence and see that my potency and, and benefit 
to be completely skillful in each moment is right there. Claiming that power for myself, not settling for less. That has been really powerful for me, not settling for less, really seeing what, is ca what I'm capable of. And going for that. So that's my, my heart advice for everyone, just to test that out in your own direct experience. Again and again, come back and share your experience right there. Share your experience with open intelligence and see how you can more and more expand your experience to be of more, more and more benefit.